this office is battle ready. I wanna show you the secrets on how I built this. To get this look, we had to start all the way back at our design concept. So I, I've concepted a bunch and we kind of landed on this shutter look. I'm exploring it more in detail. I'm focusing on the portion of the windows that's at an angle. It sits right above our office door. And now because we're committing to this look, I have to be a little more precise with my lines. The main thing that we really wanted in the final design was the shutter look. It looked functional, but then we got to thinking, how would the shutters be moving? It'd probably be like hydraulics. So we're looking at where the hydraulics would go and we decided to probably go between each window. We had to come up with a cover for the hydraulics that would be powering the cover for the windows. And that's kind of how we ended up with these structures between each window. We wanted it to look cool. And once Drew's beautiful concept art was approved, it got modeled into SolidWorks so that any real world problems can be sorted out and that all the dimensions and measurements can be retrieved at any moment. So in order to get started, we need to start with our blast shutters and then some sort of framing to hold the armor plating that we're going to attach to the building later. Since this is such a large project, I had to call in some reinforcements. We're going to start out by cutting out all the pieces for our subframing. We're cutting three quarter inch plywood down into three and three quarter inch wide strips. These are going to be used to build out our shutter box and because our shutter boxes are going to be exposed edges, we need to find some way to fasten them securely to the side of the building. The drill bit we're using for this is a specialty bit specifically for cutting pocket holes that creates a square shoulder on an angle inside of the board. So since I have about 800 holes to drill, I figured the best way to do this will be to set up a jig. So I'm using a jig that's made by Craig specifically for putting in pocket holes. So setup for the jig is actually fairly simple. All I'm doing is taking a couple of our shim blocks, setting them up so they're the same height as the base of my jig. And then I'm using two clamps on either side of the board on top of the blocks to hold my piece in place. All my lines are pre-marked every six inches on center, and I'm using that for alignment with a center on my jig. The way I decided to do this was using pocket hole screws. Now that we have approximately 800 holes drilled, it's time to move on to paint. 